What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my, or his, channel. Hi, hello, how are we? Happy whatever the day is. Wow, happy whatever day of the week it is for you. Sir Benton says hello. Sir Benton has been a little under the weather, so he went to the vet, but he's good now. He's just a little extra needy, a little extra needy. So anyways, I wanted to start off this vlog with something I haven't done in a very, very long time. And I feel like it's about time I share it with you, okay? Bentley's just, he accepts the love from his mother no matter what. That is one thing, if you ever meet Bentley in real life, he is the most cuddliest pup you'll ever meet. So, like we joke that Bentley is so chill, like, as a personality, he'll just let you do anything. He's just happy to be here. I figured I'd do a fun unboxing with you because Gymshark sent me a big old package. And I thought, why not? Wow, there's something still in it. Why not open this? Let me show you. Madness with you. I started to do it and I said, they deserve a video. So let's get this vlog started. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's get started. So first things first, I'm wearing the new Whitney collection in like her, I think it's cement brown, cement gray. I could be butchering that, but I'll pop it right here. This is the halter top. So I don't like the full length of it. So I crop it actually. And it's grown on me. I think it's really comfy. And then these are super comfortable. Small and a small, but I have to roll the waistband otherwise they're really high on me so i don't know if anyone else is experiencing that i figured why not unbox what gymshark is coming out with and this actually has already dropped literally i saw it yesterday it dropped new vital okay this color so i don't know how many washington girlies i have here but i went to washington state university that's literally the color. Like, why can't I be a college kid wearing that outfit? Because crimson and gray, right there. We've got new rest day goodies. Guys, I'm obsessed with these shorts. Okay, they're long and they're baggy. Michael calls them my grandpa, my grandma shorts because I like waddle around in them. And like, to be fair, I think it's because I wore them like Thanksgiving night with like a full sweatsuit. And he just was like, you know, they're just your grandma's shorts. And he's not wrong. I order a size small, but I could definitely wear an extra small because it's baggy. Baggier the better in my opinion, okay? Like I love baggy Adam sandler -y shorts. Let's see, to pair with it, we got a new hoodie. I really love this color. I don't actually know if these have dropped yet. I'll pop them if they have, but I love that color. Guys, rest day. If you need a travel fit, rest day is your woman, okay? Rest day is your woman. Oh, also I love these. Let's see, I got a size small. Ooh, I kinda wish I sized up in these. I just like them really baggy, but the cropped, I was just eating my hair, so I'm sorry. The cropped sweaters are phenomenal. Phenomenal! The only thing I will say is I wash them and they shrink a little bit. So, you know, hold off on washing them maybe for a while. Is anyone else like this? I like to wear my outfit like first before I wash them. I know some people think that's gross. Like I don't do that with sheets, but when it comes to my clothes, I wanna buy it as is and wear it as is because for some reason washing it almost just changes it. So comment down below if you're a girl like that as well. And of course we gotta get a jogger set. So catch me rolling up to my wedding Flying to Cabo in this jogger set. What size? Wow, small, that seems large, but that's what I wear. So that's gonna be my new plain fit. I've been wearing the gray, the gray fit and I have spilled permanent stains on it. So that's my new treble fit. And you know what's great is I pack the whole thing. So I pack the joggers. Well, so I wear the joggers and the hoodie on the plane with a baggy tee and then I pack the shorts for when I sleep. And if you wanna walk around the hotel, the resort, Whoever's house you're staying at, you're matching. That's what I do. It's a hack, a blessed hack. So this is that crimson color again with the vital. Okay, so I gotta say small. I used to wear extra small Gymshark bottoms and I graduated to a small this fall. And I'm curious, or let me know, maybe I'll do a haul for you guys on new vital, but the extra small was just so tight on me and so uncomfortable around my stomach that like I just, 
I didn't even like wearing the leggings anymore. So I just sized up to a small and I feel a lot more comfortable. Um, so I'll definitely, maybe I'll do a review. Cause I'm curious. Ooh, stunning. What a beautiful color. I feel like they have this color. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? This is like a mermaid-esque color. Like you could literally be Ariel. Part of the world. You're welcome. Okay, stunning. So there is this vital color that was my favorite color ever. It was my first set I really ever purchased from Gymshark. Well, the pink flex leggings were, but let's not bring that. Cobalt blue, and I just think blue pops really well. Anytime a girly is wearing blue in a gym, I compliment her, and I'm like, stunning. So, this is new, okay? This is recent. I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent. We're gonna try that on, because there's no cups, and I just feel like my nipples will go through that. I'm indifferent. Pause that, okay? This is cute, okay, okay, stunning. She's, she's going for a blue theme, and she's not mad about it. Something about this green is like a different texture. I mean, obviously you can tell the fabric, like this one's a solid color and this is like ashy almost. To catch me wearing this all the dang time, shorts. Okay, so I'm not usually a fan of Vital shorts and I have not had a size small yet. So I will definitely keep you updated if I like that. The extra smalls were just like hugging my leg of Rooney's and I got big legs and I naturally have Sally like behind my legs, okay? And that's normal, but like, I don't love when things emphasize it. So this definitely did when it add an extra small. So I will be excited to report back my thoughts on a small. They're actually dropping glow in mango margarita and it's gonna be in a little travel pack. So I think this is perfect because I needed some more travel packs for when I'm going to Cabo to get married and don't I want a glow? We love a glow stick, okay? And then they also have pill forms as well if you'd like. If you ever want to snag ghosts in general, you can use code SAV to save 20% off. I, I just, I'm here for it. I love ghosts. A lot of you know me as a PE science athlete. I will always, always love PE science. I will always support the owner. They were the first ones to ever take a chance on me. Honestly, as I got older, I just felt like my supplements were changing and I wanted a company that had different options for me other than, you know, pre-workout and creatine and protein. And that's what I really appreciated about Ghost is they had all forms of supplement. They had a variety of greens and you guys know I love greens. They even have their own electrolytes, the hydration that I love in strawberry kiwi, or I'd love a supplement for general wellness. So that's kind of how I ended up being with Ghost and I felt like I've talked about it before, but in case you were new, now you know. Okay, let me prop you up. Also, I showered finally after like, I went like a week and a half without washing my hair. And it's because I bought, let me show you. For the wedding, I bought extensions. A lot of you guys remember, I was like, should I pay for like real extensions where they clip them into my hair and it's like per semi-permanent, right? Like they stay for a couple months. You all were like, Sav, I don't know. I don't know if it's meant for you. I don't know if it's your personality. You like to swim a lot. You wear your hair in a bun a lot. And like, I, you can do that with the extensions, but it was kind of like, what's the point if you're not gonna wear them down? And like, I feel like if I was a businesswoman going to work every day, I would like extensions. But for now, I'm just a drowned rat living on an island. So I decided let's save some money and let's buy some hair extensions off Amazon. Honestly, I need to test them out. That's why I washed my hair, so. Maybe I'll include this, but they were $130, which I'm still a little appalled at, but I think I got them, I don't remember how long they are, 22 inches maybe? So like they're down to here, and weirdly they match my hair color, which is rare because I have a balayage. So I'm reframing from washing my hair because I don't want the toner to get messed up, and then they won't match by the time I have the wedding. So that's the plan, let me stuff them back in. But like, I plan on having just a down hairstyle and I'm like, I gotta do something to like zhuzh it up, if that makes sense. Anyways, look at this cute top. I'm actually not mad at it. Except I feel like it doesn't really like push your boobies up. I do think it's cute and I, I don't think it shows my nipples. Maybe I'll be looking back editing. I think it's cute that they give you an option to have a crop top. I don't really think it's cute with my outfit. The sweat shorts, I'll pop them as well. These are like my go-to, I just wear them around the house. 
I just made some tea that I picked up in Seattle. It's a tea shop near my mom and I love vanilla spiced rooibos. That's so freaking good. And when I tried it, it was really sweet. And I'm like, oh, did you put honey in it? And she was like, no, rooibos, if you steep it longer than five minutes, it's really sweet. So you guys love to make fun of me, but I like to boil my water with my tea. It's incredibly sweet and it's delicioso. So a hack, you gotta try it. Okay. It is the freaking weekend. It's a Sunday. Yesterday, I did not pick up the camera at all. What did I even do yesterday? I got my toesies done for the wedding. That was really fun. Went and hit up Costco. Michael and I went for a nice little rainy day drive and beach walk. And then I ended up going to have drinks for a friend's birthday dinner. Anyways, he bought me some coffee. The man wanted to go play golf again. I got my iced Americano with two pumps of white mocha. I was doing three and I don't know, it felt so sweet. So, love it. And I'm gonna take Bentley to the beach. I figure I'd do a little cute B-roll. I'll just take it on my phone. I'm probably not gonna bring my camera. Um, but Sunday should be good. I have some work to do and we kinda have to get the house organized for when we get ready to leave for the wedding. Yeah, it's just gonna be a good day. I'm gonna go to the gym as well and we wanna go snorkel. We got these new snorkels from his parents and we wanna test them out. Crikey, there's a rainstorm. There's really like dark clouds back there so I I'm undercover waiting for it to pass so I can walk the beach. Hey. Guys, I got I went home. It was kind of stormy. So we did a nice little walk. Bentley did his duties. No pun intended. Um, and, and I went home, made breakfast, and then I started cleaning. I was like organizing our closet. I was getting some laundry done because we hadn't even unpacked. Um, and now I'm like, okay, I have a meeting in an hour and a half. I'm gonna go to the gym just for an hour. And I think I'm just gonna do the Stairmasters because I am feeling so bloated. I started my period um, and I'm just feeling like extremely bloated. Like I retain so much water. Um, so I'm just gonna go sweat and just see how I feel. Maybe I'll sauna. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to reset. I'm like, I think I'm just gonna clean up the house a bit, get it a little organized. And yeah, that's my update, my friend. My update. We were installing a ring security camera and I was weeding like the home owners we are. <laughs> and now we're gonna snorkel. Michael's mom and stepdad got us these for Christmas. So apparently you can breathe through your face normally. We'll keep you updated, are you ready? Oh yes. Okay, it's a windy day, but it's a beautiful day. Um, it's too windy. We couldn't see any fish, but we saw some sea urchins and went pretty dang far. But look at this neat little shell I found. So it's a win for me. Hello. Okay, it's now Monday and I feel like this vlog is so chaotic. There wasn't a lot of structure, but I was like, I'm gonna make a fun weekend vlog because we're just doing fun things at the moment. But you guys always say you seem to like it. So I'm glad you like hanging out. So I washed my hair again and okay, I'm getting nervous. I wanted to test out the extensions with you. I'll link them down below as well. I finally made an Amazon storefront because, well, Amazon for starters is my best friend because there's not a lot of places that deliver here. And I'm just really excited about this because anybody that has like a big day coming up and wants some extensions, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll link it. And so they were cheaper than 130, but if you wanted the long ones, they were gonna be 130. I'm gonna have like my hairstylist and my makeup team for the wedding to put it in so i don't really know how to put these in um i had my mom drive and we were cracking up because neither of us knew how to do it it was like hanging off my head for dear life i want to wear them for like the fun rehearsal dinner for the wedding and i'll probably just have like my sister-in-law put them in for me i feel like i can't see how do people put these in themselves like there's this one girl she's so cute her name's kaylee i don't know her last name she's cute tiktoker cute blonde girl I'm sure a lot of you guys follow her too because I feel like we like the same type of content. But she has like these gorgeous extensions she puts in herself. And like, yeah, I definitely did it wrong. <laughs> like they're like hanging, hanging on my ears. Um, but I just wanted to see what they look like. Anyways, she does amazing hair extensions from Amazon and I'm like, what is your secret? Let's try putting the whole thing in together and I'll wrap up this vlog. So if, you're, if you've made it this far, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. <laughs> Let's like name this one. It's like a wedding prep vlog. How's that? And I have been kind of quiet about planning. Oh, hey, Bally. 
I have been kind of quiet about planning my wedding just because like, I, w I don't know. I want it to be f like no stress. And alerting so many people about my wedding stressed me out. So that's why I've been so private about it. Slash, I am literally throwing these in. I could never, I could never do this every day. I decided I'm gonna film wedding content. We're going a week early. So I'm gonna try and film there, but I'll definitely just have my bridesmaids do it. Um, my friend Kayla actually is pretty good at filming. I know she did that for the engagement. So she also is pregnant, so she'll be sober, which will be good when handling my camera. I did hire a videographer, but I don't think I'm getting that back for a really long time. So I have two more pieces and then that's a full set of hair. I think it would look good. Guys, if you were to see the back of my head, I can't see it, but she doesn't look good. <laughs> she doesn't look good. You're like, sad. you don't even know how to put makeup on. Why the frick are you trying hair extensions? Because I want to feel pretty, but I don't want to spend an arm and a leg. That's exactly how I feel about it. So if anyone has some hair tips, because I feel like you can tell, you can tell like these are longer than my normal hair. Maybe I'll hide it. Honestly, it's not that bad. Kind of makes me more of a brunette. All I want is for my blonde to stay this color. <laughs> I'm assuming that the hairstylist will know how to hide it. My plan for the wedding is to just wear beautiful long hair down and curled, but only curled like here down because I have such straight, almost like wiry is how I would describe my hair because like it doesn't hold a curl very well and I know that about it, so I don't curl it often. The only time it holds a curl is if it's dry and Cabo is not dry. Okay, that one I just literally posted on the back of my head. Okay, ladies, <laughs> let me hear your thoughts. Comment down below your yay or nay on these extensions. But like, I feel like with it curled, if you hide it, honestly, I feel like Miley Cyrus it wouldn't look that bad, okay? Like obviously it's a little funky right now and I d clearly don't wanna curl my hair at this exact moment and it would be layered a lot better. Like it'd be in between layers. Guys, did anyone else think that Miley Cyrus <laughs> when she was in Hannah Montana and when she was more importantly in When I Look At You, was that what it was called? No, the last song, think this hair was natural because I did. I thought it was natural and I was like, that's my goal, I'm gonna grow it out grew my hair out and it didn't look like it. And I didn't understand she had fake hair. But guys, a girl could dream about having real extensions. Let's hope one day I'll get it. Oh my God, my battery's about to die. I hope you enjoyed this kind of sit down, chit chat, long vlog. Let me know your thoughts on the wedding hair, what I should do with it, cause I don't know. But that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe to YouTube channel and I will see you next time.